Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. Please feel free to subscribe down below and become a member of my Figlet family. I would love to have you as a subscriber. We do a lot of fun things here all the time. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. So today I wanted to do a video just to document my test of this recipe, Earthling Nutrition, who is so sweet and beautiful uh, here on YouTube, she made this recipe that she said she's been working on for a while and it's two ingredient bread, like two ingredient flatbread. You can use it as like bread for, as she put it, hummus sandwiches, or you can dip it into soups, or you could even use it as pizza, like what? And it's only two ingredients, you guys, two ingredients. And those ingredients are quinoa and water. I already have done step one, which is get one cup of quinoa and one cup of water and soak it overnight in a bowl covered with either a damp paper towel or a plate. I covered it with a plate. And so basically, yeah, here's what it's done. I used rainbow quinoa. I don't think she did. Can you really make bread, flat bread, pizza crust out of quinoa and water? I don't know, Earthling Nutrition. That seems a little funky to me. But we're going to try it and give it our best shot. And now we blend. Quinoa. Blender. Bless you! <gasps> Does this thing really blend? Going to stir it so it can blend the top half. I've got a cute setup, so hopefully you don't realize that it's sitting on top of a Coleman cooler. Yeah. I'm really surprised at how well this is working. Blendy, blendy. Press the wrong button. I think that quinoa is kind of like the equivalent of sparkles in the food world. Like sparkles are obviously in the art world and then quinoa in the food world because quinoa gets everywhere and it never goes away. But I love it though. Just because darn savvy Menke put it in my head but it kind of smells like pancake batter too. So now Savvy says to put it, to pour it onto a pan covered in parchment paper. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh wow, that's everything. And she says to spread it around the pan with a spatula, but I don't know what that is, so I'm just gonna use a spatula. funny. Good bet, Brooke. Wow, and this makes a lot more than I thought it would. So this is what it looks like after 15 minutes in there. Looks different than hers because I use different colored quinoa, but honestly it looks like it's cooked through, but she says to flip it and then cook it for another, I think it's five minutes. So it definitely stuck to the parchment paper a little bit. Just taking another piece of parchment paper, flipping it over, and then gently peeling off the parchment paper. So it did stick a little, but not very much. So here's what we've got, you guys. I've prepared it a bunch of different ways so I can tell you which way is my favorite. I've got it plain with peanut butter, cinnamon, and banana. A little pizza with some tomato sauce, some garlic, some salt, some nutritional yeast, and some tofurkey. Just totally plain with some vegan butter, and then with some hummus. So first I'm going to try it just totally plain. Mm. It's chewy. And it's soft, just like she said. Okay. 
done. Just playing with the vegan butter. Mm. That's the stuff. I'm gonna try it with the hummus. the pizza. Wow. All right, Savvy. Well, I wanted to try it a bunch of different ways so I could see how versatile this bread was, and it really is. I liked it best plain with the butter or with the hummus or with the pizza. It's really good. It's good every way. It's so good. Really soft, really chewy. Mine wasn't the prettiest because I used the tri-colored quinoa, but who cares? Go savvy. Yeah, I'm really impressed. I'm very, very impressed with this quinoa bread. And if you are going to try it too, make sure to tag her in it on Instagram because I know I can't. I don't have Instagram. That's too expensive for me. 10 out of 10. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what other things you think I should try. And subscribe for new videos all the time. I hope to see you in my next one. Make sure to go out there, live like you give a fig. Remember that variety is the spice of life. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys.